A car engine, generates power from the expansion of compressed air, in a contained cylinder with the help of fuel. That is why, it's called as an internal combustion engine. Before getting into the working, let's see the main parts involved in the working of an engine. First, the crankshaft. This is the part which converts the linear motion of the piston, to a rotational force. Next, the pistons and the piston rods. The pistons will be pushed down by the expansion of compressed air, and turns the crankshaft. And the valves, which controls the flow of air and fuel into the cylinders. These valves are driven by the intake camshaft, and the exhaust camshaft, and the camshafts, are driven by the crank itself, using a timing belt. There will be idler pulleys, and a tensioner pulley, to hold the belt tight in place. This here, is the internal structure, of a four-stroke, inline four-cylinder, DOHC engine, which is commonly found in most hatchback and sedan cars. A four-stroke engine should pass through four different strokes, to complete one cycle to produce power. They are intake, compression, power, and exhaust stroke. The crank to camshaft ratio is 2 is to 1. Which means it will take two crank revolutions, to complete one camshaft revolution. And the camshafts are designed in a responsive manner, to open or close based on the corresponding strokes, of each cylinder. Let's take a look at a single cylinder, and see how a four-stroke engine works in detail. In order to ignite the air-fuel mixture, a spark plug is used. This will ignite the compressed air-fuel mixture, with the help of an electrical spark. We will take it down by each stroke. The intake stroke. The inlet valve opens and the downward movement of the piston creates a suction. This pulls the air-fuel mixture into the cylinder. Once the air-fuel mixture is in the cylinder, compression stroke begins compressing the mixture. At this time both inlet and outlet valves stays closed. At the end of compression stroke, the air-fuel mixture is ignited by the spark plug. The explosion exerts pressure and pushes the piston down. This is the power stroke which produces power, to the crank. At the exhaust stroke, the outlet valves opens and the piston pushes out the burned gas. The cycle starts again from intake stroke, keeping the engine running and produces power. For a carburetor engine, the air and fuel are mixed inside the carburetor assembly, and fed to the cylinders. In the case of a fuel injected engine, the fuel is injected into the intake manifold, or directly into the cylinders. Since only a power stroke produces power, you may wonder how the engine turns continuously. Well, the answer is in the crank itself. The flywheel and the crank counterweights provides momentum, which keeps the crankshaft from stopping immediately. For a four-cylinder engine, considering any time instance, one cylinder is always in power stroke which produces more power and less vibrations comparing to a single cylinder engine. And that is how a car engine produces power in simple. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more presentations from Auto Tech Labs.